Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just saved the village of Red Cliff from the roving band of corpses that will come out of the castle every night, uh, or at least for tonight, we managed to do so. Now, we're going to do all these quests that are available outside of, you know, the castle right now. But we're also going to go after what's going on in the castle to possibly end it. But uh, for now, we're just going to run through the quests that are available down here and, you know, what we can do. Just to make a little extra dough, because that's always very helpful. My friend, there are a number of people who pledge to aid the Blackstone Irregulars in times of need. Those times are now. Here you will find three letters of conscription. Deliver them to the people listed below and return to the Irregulars for your payment. Should any of these people refuse, do what you must to get them to honor their oaths. Oh. Uh, Dernal Garrison, Redcliffe. Pater, or Pater Gritch, Lothering. And Veril Bairn Denerum. Oh. That one's probably going to have to be a ways from now. But I'll do it. Oh. Uh, the Irregulars require a trusted agent to track down and deal with deserters. Do this and you will be rewarded. Oh. Oh boy. These deserters took with them valuable supplies crucial to the Irregulars' future as a supplier of martial services. Well, that's... I mean, it's one thing if you're just leaving. It's another thing if you're stealing shit while you do it. That's that's fucked up. Deal with these wastes of space as you see fit. <laughs> okay, come on. It'd be a little nice. Just a little. And bring the supplies back as proof that the problem has been dealt with. We will ask no questions as to your methods or the final condition of the deserters. Use your own discretion. Fair enough. Uh... Pardon me, my uh, my body decided to uh, yawn right there. Samael from Lake Kalanad, Laysen in Denerum, and Tornus in Frostback Mountains. Okay, grease the wheels. I have a task that requires some tact and discretion, and I think you're perfect for the job. <laughs> About that. The Blackstone Irregulars cannot survive without the patronage of the nobles, mages, and other groups who retain our services. For that work to continue, however, we have, an, we have to ensure, I'm assuming is what they meant, that people are looking out for our interests. To that end, I ask you to make a trip to Denerum and pass on our appreciation to search certain individuals. Return when you are done and I'll see that you are rewarded. Alrighty, sounds good to me. I can do all that. To the Chanter's board. Unfortunate news has arrived that the Darkspawn have extended their incursion into areas previously thought safe for travel. Oh. Oh no. A runner from the border caravan brings word that they unknowingly passed into infested territory and were being tracked by several unseen creatures. He was dispatched to seek help and does not know the fate of his fellows, nor the viability of the trade route. Traders in the area are urged to be cautious. Any with the ability to rescue or determine the status of the troubled group will be rewarded. Okay, I can do that. Sister Rana posts on behalf of her neighbors. The dark spawn incursions on the south have made for difficult communication, even though official mean even through official means. Uh, relatives of the conscripts in Company East Hill have beseeched me to deliver word of their brothers and sons. I have no means to do so, but can point a traveler of stout heart in the proper direction of their recent engagement. To any who are able to find their loved ones, I offer what little silver they have been able to entrust to the board, as well as the sincerest gratitude of the Chantry. Alrighty. A runner sends this request from Knight Commander Thames. While the reports I have heard no doubt suffer from exaggeration, the observed creatures assaulting Redcliffe troubled me greatly. Also, someone knows, at least. 
If we are to properly combat these unnatural agents and prevent their reoccurrence, the mages bound to my service will require carefully prepared samples of flesh for study. Oh. Therefore, should a deployment occur, we will be well briefed. I'm gonna take bits of... Mm. Mm. Joy. Gross. If there are skilled warriors present, I would have them gamp... Uh, gather samples from any remaining creatures as close to the presumed source as possible. Uh, I was I was almost about to combine gather and samples to make gamples for a second there. That would have been stupid. The Chantry will reward this basic assistance with spiritual acknowledgement. If the request is exceeded, gold will be added, but the offer is limited. Fair enough. Imminent tragedy. Oh, no. Jeez, I had a coffee. Why am I still yawning? Ugh. For fuck's sake. A runner has brought me dire news of a group of refugees fleeing the Darkspawn. They have been cornered in unfamiliar ground, fighting for their lives. Oh, jeez. The Templars are necessarily occupied, and my own means are few and stretched. If someone of skill has the ability to deliver these people, I can only offer the honest gratitude of myself and the Chantry. Hopefully that will be enough for the rare person we need. It's just it's enough. dark before dawn's first light seems eternal. But know that the sun always rises. One can help. All right. Doomsay. The end is upon us. The dead rise and foul magic spreads across the land. Shut up. Fucking asshole. Okay. Maybe Aura, I can talk to the blacksmith again. Those who perish outside of the maker's forgiveness. It's gonna meet you in a second if you don't shut up. Hey, Owen. Good to see you in one piece. Do you have news of Elena yet? Not quite yet. Well, I'll give it some time. Now's the best time to go into the castle, though, and see for yourself. Remember, a promise is a promise. That was the plan. Right. Well, let's see what you got, got much, first. Obviously, but Just I'll in case it changed during the battle. Ooh. It did. I don't remember having a Viridium axe in your inventory. Nor do I remember selling you one. Nor do I remember selling you a shield of it. Hmm. Well, but then again, I don't need that. Don't need those. And don't really need this. But I guess I can hold on to it for a bit. Huh. I... Oh, I got... I got that from one of the, uh, one of the ones who died during the fighting. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, the splint mail was bonus to armor. The scale was greater chance of deflecting missile attacks. And chainmail was spells or talents cost less to activate. Hmm. Splint mail in viridium. Bonus to armor. And I do have just enough strength to wear it. Hmm. A bonus to armor would be nice. All the rest of them are steel. Hmm. It would be a hell of an upgrade. But also would add a lot to fatigue. Check Alistair. Alistair. 
Morgan absolutely would not be able to wear it. Neither would Liliana. It would be quite an upgrade for Alistair. I don't necessarily need that. The uh, talents costing less to activate are, is pretty good for me. But, uh... Alistair. I am kind of trying to make him into my tank a little bit. That would be useful. Oh, that was all my muns. <laughs> well, already then. Fuck my life. Uh... Oh, she doesn't have a helmet equipped? Hmm. Um... Studded leather. It's not good enough. Sell all those, I guess. And Alistair would still benefit from these. Uh, wrong button. All right. Let's go to Alistair here. Give him that armor. Gloves. And there. I guess I can sell the scale armor there. Yeah, so it's not going to do anything to help me. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's about it. Good to see you in one piece. Do you have news of Elena yet? Not yet. Well, I'll give it some time. I'm just working now on changing my castle, stuff. Though, and see for yourself. Remember, a promise is a promise. Absolutely. All right. All right, so, um, probably should sell that just for the case of needing money. Money, money, money. Okay, uh, do I really need acid flasks? Let me look at this. Not really. Acidic coating, not as much either. Okay, it would cover the weapon. And that would cover the weapon. And this would cover the weapon. Maybe I don't need the throwing one. Sell those, I guess. Okay, that got me a pretty decent bit of cash. Elixir of grounding. Ah. I think I, I need everything else, but I'm fine with what I got for now. Um, journeyman Lightning Rune. Golden Scythe 490 Black. What is that? Oh. Battlefield Spirits. <laughs> that explains a bit. Alright. I have just plain old wine, all right. A flask of red wine. Who would I give that to? And have them still like me after. Um, I don't know what I do with these. And I don't want to sell them without knowing. At the same time, I need money. <laughs> so, uh, did I upgrade? Oh, did I upgrade his boots yet? I did not. Well, with that in mind, there we go. Man, I am poor. Man, oh man, am I poor. Fuck, man. <laughs> there we go. That should be good enough, I think. That should be good enough. Good to see you in one piece. Well, every I'll give time, time. I have right. to go through all of that. All right. Sell. Uh, don't think I need anything else. Yeah, I don't think I need anything else. At least not yet. 
Hmm. Yeah, heavy chain mail. I can, I can at least wait until I have the muns for that. That would give me quite a bit of armor, though, so I might, I might go for that. <sighs> I might go for that when I uh, have the opportunity. And the muns. I guess I'm gonna have to go into the castle for what that. Do you wish of me? Uh, to shush, because I didn't mean to talk to you. There we go. Out the door I go. I didn't open my coffee. I just had the espresso. I didn't open my actual coffee. Give me a second. There we go. Didn't want to overload the microphone with the opening of the coffee. <laughs> okay, so. Um, those who perish outside of the maker's forgiveness. My sword is going to await your face. Outside of the maker's Sh forgiveness. Shut up. Fucking nut job. All right. A witch of the Kakari was. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right. And they are right in this. You know the stories about Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed, using them till they were spent, then killing them. No little no, girl wants to be no told one would. this is also expected of her once she comes of age. Oh. I... Um, I see. No, you don't. You really don't. I think I got a little more insight into how Morgan thinks. And now I think I understand. <laughs> Just a little bit of the crazy. It's nothing over here. Okay, well. Nothing worthwhile over there. I don't know why I went there. I guess just to learn a little more about more again, I guess. Um, Smithy Tavern Chantry. Caitlin's Home. General Store. Dwin's Home. House. Landmark Tree. And Windmill. I guess I can just go up. Go up and go to the castle. The other quests I can get done later, so... I mean, why not? Uh, yeah. There's nothing over there. Nothing specifically good over there, I don't think. It was just a house. Yeah. Just a normal house. I can live with that. Alright, let's go talk to, uh, this guy. First, Sir Perth. Ah, it is sad to think of how much death there has been here. But we have saved the village beyond all expectations. You have done well, my friend. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Sounds good. And uh, I will continue to help in that regard. Knight Commander Harith. Talk to you. Move along, friend. Okay. Thank you. I guess I have no choice in that. Uh, Ban Tegan. Oh, yeah, you... Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. Nobody alive, But I shouldn't anyway. delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. Oh, yeah? Um... Specifically, that line broke. <laughs> okay. Uh, why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. 
Uh oh. Tigan. Thank the maker you yet live. Isold. You're alive. How did you What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. Um, we will need more of an explanation than that. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isol, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Save your asses. Old. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, uh -huh. Lady Azold, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Okay. Again, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think okay. Connor is going mad. We have survived, but... He won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. Hmm. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. That's why you need him. Okay. Tell me about this mage you mentioned. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. Hmm. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why him and Felil. Oh. Eamon was poisoned. He claims an agent of Terran Loganes hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. Yeah. yeah I, I would believe that. Considering Terran Logan already pulled the stunt he pulled with the Grey Wardens and King Kalen, it would not be outside the realm of possibility. What about Arl Eamon? Is he still alive? He is. He's being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor, and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. Yeah, it wants us to yeah we know. But I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. It allowed you? Do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? That'd be the only way it could be reasoned with. I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? It's not outside I, the I realm of possibility. Hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. Why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? I, I beg your pardon. That's a rather impertinent accusation. Not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. He came for help. What more do you want from me? Like, why did it let you, you not go? Have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? Why must he go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan. I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. We need to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isold. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. What good will that do? I'm not certain, to be honest. I cannot let Isold return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. 
I must try. I have no illusion of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isold, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Alrighty. This is the ace up the sleeve plan, and I'm the ace, isn't it? Here's what I propose. I go in with Isold, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Okay. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? That's it? It's all up to me? Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. Okay. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isold, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Um, some of these lines are... Whoa. Uh. Hmm. I understand. I'll do my best. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. We don't I have a choice. no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. We don't have a choice. Either this is a very, very bad plan on his end, or a very, very helpful distraction for our plan. And we can only hope it goes one way or the other. Move along, friend. Uh, Thank you. Already? Still doesn't want to talk to me. That's fair. Okay. Secret passage. Tactics can make your team work together. A tunnel that went under the entire lake. Who would build such a thing? Those are some not great noises. Looks like something wants to die again. Got him. All right. And we're gonna deal with this corpse. There we go. There we go. Come on. Well, could have gone worse. Considering. Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Someone else is alive? Who are you? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Are you the mage lady you sold mentioned? You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. Yeah, she said you poisoned the Arl. I'm not proud of my deed. Poisoning Arl Eamon was what I was hired to do. Lady Isold had no idea when she took me in to tutor her son, of course. Obviously. There's absolutely no reason she would have known. Unless she was the one paying you to do it. What about all the walking corpses? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde huh. came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... Okay. ...had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. Gotcha. Why did the Arlesa hire you to tutor her son? Lady Isold was looking for a mage to tutor Connor secretly. Terran Loghain found out and he sent me. I was to use the opportunity to poison the Arl. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden, 
that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. Uh -huh. You see, I'm a Malefica. Oh. Mage. You, a blood mage. Truly, I would never have guessed. A blood mage. Well, that isn't good. Not really. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But yeah. he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. Okay. But why tutor her son? Why tutor her son? Connor had started to show signs. Oh. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Mm -hmm. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate. A mage outside the circle to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. I see. I think I understand. Is it possible the son's responsible for what happened? I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. Mm. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. That might be a viable explanation. How much magic did you teach Connor? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Hmm. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. Hmm. And Arl Eamon had no idea. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. I think I understand. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? That's hey, hey, fair. let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. We, we know enough to of it. redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Could everyone you not? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. This is an unusual situation. You're right. Give me a chance, please. Well, I do like this angle, that the companions are talking to each other and, you know, actually kind of swaying you one way or the other based on their conversation. I do like that. I was already swaying in the direction that they kind of swayed themselves, but this was... An interesting angle I didn't expect the game to take, and I do like that the game took it. Uh, this is a sort of writing style you almost never see anymore. And I really, really appreciate it. It's definitely not one you're gonna see out of Bioware anymore. That's for fucking sure. Oh, boy, oh boy. Alright, um... How will you make things right? I, well, I try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that? Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. So if I were to just let you go? Okay, I mean, that's commendable if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I'm letting you out. Don't try anything stupid. You're letting me out? And what then? You come with me, that's what. <laughs> no, no, no. I guess, I guess you're uh, gonna come with me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Why do I'd you like say to that? I'd like to help out, but 
I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. Okay. Then help, just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. All right. Alistair disapproves, Morgan approves, and Leliana approves. I think this is the first time Morgan's approved of anything I've done. <laughs> That's actually, uh, well, I mean, first time since, uh, I think Lothering. Anyway, um, I'm just going to run around see if there's anything that I can get out of here. Looks like no. Okay, so uh, I'm going to end the episode here for right now, and we will continue on in our incursion into the castle. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see y'all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube for subscribing to my Patreon and supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do next when it comes to taking on the evil that's in the castle. And, uh, really just getting prepared for that, whatever we're doing. Uh, we spent a lot of time, than, a lot more than I wanted to, on getting Alistair equipped better with uh, armor. But we're prepared for pretty much anything that's going to come at us for you.